Hello, my name is Peter McDonald from Tisnaspas, Arizona. I also today live in Tupa City with my wife Wanda and also my children and grandchildren. You know, <clears throat> this is November, the early part of November. And in November, there are a number of real good days that we all celebrate and enjoy. One of them is Thanksgiving. That's coming up real shortly. Another one is Veterans Day, which is tomorrow, November 11. The other day that we all like and celebrate is today, November 10, Marine Corps birthday, which was established way back in 1775, November 10. So I'm going to give you a little talk on the last two subjects, Veterans Day and United States Marine Corps birthday, which is today. So, happy birthday to all of you United States Marine Corps Marines. I call you Marines because in our system, we say that once you become a Marine, you are always a Marine. Hol ago, Marine lead all So that's why we don't say ex-Marines or what have you. We are Marines. Once you go past boot camp, you become a Marine. Anyhow, <clears throat> United States Marine Corps is uh, a 245 years old. The record says that the Second Continental Congress in 1775, just shortly after the United States became United States, Marine Corps was established by the Second Continental Congress. To do what? Well, to protect this nation and to be out there ready to fight and preserve what our Constitution talks about, principally peace freedom and liberty. Those are very important words. Freedom, liberty. Freedom and liberty. So that's what the United States Marine Corps was established for. And over the years, there have been a number of of uh, names or uh, nicknames or people call us. Some of them are names that are not good. You might even say it's a, it's a, it's a bad word. Like always, there are people who may not particularly like the United States Marines for whatever reason. 
So they gave us bad names like devil dogs. Well, Germans, back in World War I, gave us that name devil dogs. Why? Because Marines went in the battle in Bellaloo, the Battle of Bellaloo, and there they slaughtered all the Germans that were opposing the United States military force. So they decided, to, they thought to give us a bad name by calling us devil dogs. But I'll tell you why. Marine took it on as by golly, we're going to be devil dogs. Also, the name was given to us as first to fight. That particular slang or logo, whatever it is you might call it, is uh, coined as Marine Corps slogan, first to fight, because we were trained, Marines were trained and equipped to be out there if there's any problem, serious situation anywhere, Marines would go out there first. And that's how they were equipped, that's how they were trained, to be out there first. So, people call us first to fight. Also, some say, this is, I understand, it's a Marine Corps recruiting tool that started out as a few good men. That's Marines, a few good men. I understand it started in 1799 as a recruiting tool. Marine Corps didn't want just anyone to be a Marine. They want a real tough and ready to fight type persons. So, a few good men. When you hear that, that refers to Marine Corps. Well, they are call us other bad names like Jarines. And uh, well, of course we accept it. Okay, we're Jarines. I understand that Jarine name came from us wearing that blue uniform with a tight collar and a flat hat. So I guess we uh, were Jarines and uh, or Jarheads. Those are the name given us, but like Marines, we accept it and we call ourselves Jarheads, Jarines. Why? because Marines are trained to be proud. No matter what kind of name you give us or what kind of uh, derogatory names you call us, we'll accept it and go after you and we'll do our, our share of the fight that is at hand. So those are the kind of things. Leathernecks is another one. Leathernecks. And uh, it's only because of the, the way our color was. And so somebody decided, oh, those, those guys are leathernecks. All right, we're leathernecks. We're proud of it. We didn't protest and said, hey, they're calling us names. They're racist. They're this, they're that. Uh-uh. We're proud of who we are, no matter what you call us. Call us that. We'll accept it, but we're not going to forget what we were established for. Well, this goes on. Happy birthday, United States Marines out there. Hehe, kosa kate, dan hit it. No, hai shin yisis. 
Well, during World War II, another name came up. Navajo Code Talker. United States Marines. It was Navajo Code Talker duty. What we did, what we were assigned to do, was so good, perfect for the occasion in the Pacific. Therefore, the code that was developed by the early young Navajos, young men, 29 of them, in 1942, developed the first set of code to be used to transmit all top secret and confidential messages in every landing, in every battle across the United, in the Pacific. So, all these different names, Navajo code talkers, when somebody hears you say, Navajo code talkers, first thing you think of is United States Marines. So, that's the story of Navajo code talkers. These young Navajos, 17, 18, 19 years old, all volunteered. They were not drafted. They volunteered to fight in the Pacific. We didn't know. They won't tell us that there was such a thing as Navajo code until you pass boot camp, combat training, communication school, eight art passage. You know. Then you get accepted into a, a top secret confidential Navajo code school. That's where then you learn and memorize the Navajo code words. Initially, there were 260 code words. By the time the war ended, over 600 code words have to be memorized. And starting with 29 young Navajos in 1942, by the time the war ended, there were over 600 of us. No, I mean, there were over 400 of us that were certified as Navajo code talkers. So that's the story of Marine Corps and the birthday that we're celebrating today, November 10. All of you out there, United States Marines, Navajo or other nationalities. You are Marines even if you just serve in World War I or World War II or Korean or Vietnam War. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Well, the second thing that I want to talk about is Veterans Day. You know, uh, Veterans Day is tomorrow, November 11. November 10, Marine Corps Day, birthday. And then the next day, t tomorrow, November 11, will be Veterans Day. 
and they and they really went back as far as they can congress did to redesignate armistice day to veterans day it's a holiday just like national navajo code talker day august 14 established by congress well veterans day was also established by congress and who are they who are these veterans well there's so many the army the navy marines air force coast guards all of these different military units millions have served in these branches of military services they are veterans wherever they have served both men and women especially during world war 2 and on to today more and more women have entered military some of them even became pilots combat pilots so they are now we call veterans the nekachee selao tahon da skaigi piti ne there are some real old veterans out there like myself out of the 400 Navajo code talkers that serve there's only four of us still alive Samuel Sandoval and Thomas Piquet out of uh, a young but uh, a young not young but out of the just south of Gallup and John Kinsel from Lukachukai and of course myself here from Tuba City Tatinil Tehi Itzi well we are very old all of us are in there in our 90s of the four that still alive I'm the youngest 92 years old only because I joined when I was 15 years old so i began to feel that what i used to see of my grandparents when they were 90 years old they uh have different temper and different outlook dahashke ado ndatn tin diva kons and di behol a di bikho ina sonde di ni gin dolde din sote zen dolde da no they were pressured into our mind and our soul and our body things that we need in order to survive it's kind of like going through boot camp in the marine corps they train you to be a marine well grandparents also train you to survive whatever life that's up ahead especially life that would be a little more difficult than being close to your mom and dad so veterans <clears throat> there are so many out there especially in navajo several probably 10 or 12,000 Navajo veterans out there many of them old some of them homeless that's not good yet we all say and know let's take care of our elders 
let's take care of our seniors. Nihi mado, nihi masando, nihi chedo, nihi nala, bada hoi liyado, let's daddy no. Akot, lati e, baha cho paage da tam se yigo, big yelin dil chit. Bavan da ten sa, bachanto lili a da ten. They have no one to cook for them in some places. There's no way to treat someone. They put their life on the line for you. There's no way to say thank you to someone who gave up their future in order that you could enjoy life without any effect of the ugliness of war. Veterans, we have men and women out there who need help. Even just to go and touch them and say thank you, that does a lot for their heart and mind. That's love. And we all know that love cures everything. Even just a touch cures so many things. So, if you see a veteran with a veteran cap or a t-shirt or a jacket that has military emblem on it, that means that person is a veteran. You need to say, Hehe, she che, a hehe, she nai, a hehe, she je, a dish, Benica is ye, conf de bicay, de ye, double de no, that don't know, ya de. So, those are the veterans. And uh, we, to d tomorrow, we'll salute all veterans of all wars. No matter how far back you go until today, we have Navajo veterans. And we need to say thank you and salute them. Young men and women, when they join, today, they are parents, grandparents. Kade Nadahas Kai Lashi Hadabit is Kal Lashi Hat Ishi Nas Nishi Dabit Patabadil Patata is not the Kate Kita Honi Akondi A Jay Dundle A Chaito or Nadal Dundle A Masan Dundle No, because they did put their lives on the line, sacrificing their future and to preserve our freedom and liberty. As I said before, many never made it home. They actually lost more than just being killed out in a battlefield. They lost to be a father. They lost to be a grandfather. They lost to be a, a husband. They lost all of that. Just so those of us here can have peace happiness, freedom, and liberty. Di yi yi ni ye na da ay test an ha shi ne la da do na ha skha da na ha al chen e do pe de ni ho ya te 
they did help maintain peace here at home so we could enjoy life as our Creator had ordained for us to enjoy. They didn't want their parents, relatives, or to ever see or experience the ugliness of war. Amado Zel Shindan Ndel Chidos Aon Dabbit El Ched. You don't want that here. That's why they went out there and defend what we have here in America. They didn't join military to get a job. They didn't join military to get an education. They knew when they signed up, when they entered military, that they were giving up their future for the sake of their parents, relatives. A Istado kato ada ben shogon junugo in naste ahto lish. Danzo selago das kai. For peace, freedom, and liberty. Today you see all kinds of news some pictures of battles in different areas in Germany, battles in France, battles in England, battles in Australia, battles in the Pacific, every place that our veterans defeated the enemy, they raised a flag. What kind of flag? American flag. They take it up. One of the most famous pictures of a flag being raised after defeating an enemy at a particular location was on Mount Surabachi, Iwo Jima. Flag was raised. So, that is a great sign for all of us to remember. Someone said, our flag does not fly because the wind blows it. It flies with the last breath of every soldier who died defending it. Remember, think about it. Every time you see a flag, our flag does not fly because the wind blows it, it flies with the last breath of every soldier who died defending it. Think about that, how true. So let's remember that and not mistreat our flag. It breaks my heart to see some people burn American flag or carrying upside down. We need to stand up proudly, put our hand on our, over our heart, and salute the American flag. Because it represents who we are, where we come from. <clears throat> Happy Veterans Day, especially our Navajo veterans, and also to all of our men and women who are still out there carrying weapons to protect us from the evil and ugliness of war. 